everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping the red subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have pressed the notification bell. Let's start off with a huge thank you. Thank you all for reaching out with all of your love and support. You know, everyone, I believe our world is perfectly woven. Perfectly woven with all of our trials, losses, and life. Once again, I am reminded about this through my many heartfelt messages. I truly believe when we allow ourselves to come together in all all our vulnerabilities to the many emotions of this world that peace can be found at its core. Peace comes when healing begins. Thank you all so very much. Okay, so today I have some fairy tale fall goodness that I would love to share with you all. So, that being said, let's begin. Shall we? We are going to begin with my fabulous wall panels that my husband purchased from me off of Etsy. Now, I will be linking his shop in my description box. So make sure to go and check him out and let him, he has a lot to look through too many items make sure to let him know that the little blue fly from youtube sent you so as you can see on this piece here we have this like um lighter smoky blue color so i thought okay this really doesn't go with my color palette that well so i'm going to work with annie sloan wax so I tried with the clear and then I went with the darker and you can see the difference up at top. It just looks a little bit more um, <laughs> grungy looking, I guess. And the colors um, really become more vivid with using the darker Annie Sloan wax. So. This is the winner right here. We're going to be working with the dark wax and putting the light wax over to the side. Now the lighter wax, this is great if you're just working with a wood surface and you just want to give it that nice rich tone again. Clear is what you would want to use. Now I'm getting some questions about, oops, look at <laughs> blooper. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, we're all cleaned up, but now I can also share something else. So after cleaning, you see how this paper is now, um, has a warmer tone to it. And here's the original, it's lighter. Well, this wax, you can use it, um, it's really, you can use it in many different ways, as you can see on paper, if you want to make it look a you know give it age looked um you can use it on metals on woods but today um we will be using it um for a, a few different things but wax is to um give something an older uh patina look where a wax protects so Okay, so the and let's do this again. The antiquing wax up front, this just gives it a patina look. It doesn't protect your projects. Where the wax in the back, that will protect your projects. And it needs to be reapplied. I, mean, I suggest it anyhow, the wax is in the back, to reapply it after six months. The one up front never gets reapplied. It's just... Um, one time. So I'm going to show you a, a little bit of magic here. I have a good amount of dark wax on my brush. And I'm just going to apply it all over. It just sort of looks like um, 
some good slushy mud. <laughs> and then with a cloth, or I like using these blue shop towels, you, you just wipe it off to your liking. Now, as you can see, it's now getting that nice um, grungy feel to it. I, and I'm, I'm loving it because I'm looking for a very old patina look. And you can see here, we, it's quite light here at the bottom. And again, if you decorate with, you know, these lighter smoky blue colors, it's perfect. But I just want to get things just a little bit um, warmer. And then again, you know, by applying the dark wax, it really brings all the other uh, wood grain colors out. Gives a nice, like, uh, warm butter yellow color. Brings out the reds and the browns. And of course, you can see all the distressed black paintwork in there, which is just perfect. So what a difference. So much lighter on the other side. Look at all this grungy goodness. <laughs> You're going to hear me say that probably way too much in this video, but it is. It is grungy goodness. <laughs> now again, if you like working with the lighter palette, then I would just go over um, the panel door with the clear Annie Sloan wax. This gentleman just does fabulous work. Again, make sure to let him know the little blue fly from YouTube sent you. So I have the bottom completed. All these beautiful, rich, warm tones. The perfect grunge, right? <laughs> so now we're going to work up all the way to the top. Just want to give you one more good view at the bottom of the panel. And now we're going to go through all these uh, like a um, like a window panel. And I'm going to going to be using a different brush up at top just so that I can get in those very um, narrow areas. This is quite a large piece. So right here in the cracks, I'm going to be using this brush here that has a little tip to it. It'll help me get inside those little areas. And we're just going to do the, the same process, you know, applying a good amount of, of wax on and making sure to wipe it off. So these, um, they're going to be placed in my, my entrance, my foyer, like, slash hallway um, entrance into the home. Okay. 
working with waxes is very rewarding. It doesn't take a long time and you just um, immediately see the changes. So again, my entryway um, is going to be uh, very fairy tale. So I felt that these panels would look perfectly because it reminds me of, you know, they remind me of like the old Hansel and Gretel home, you know, that had the wooden um, panes in the windows. So now let's get a really good look at all the, here I go again, the fabulous grunge. <laughs> it just looks like this panel has been around for many, many, many years. And it's still... You know, it, it the wax, it takes, um, like tomorrow, this will look just, a, it, it'll look a little bit um, more different because the wax has really had time to um, penetrate into all the many, uh, the different, the woods, the textures, and it will just help enhance them and really lift them out even more as time goes on. So I will be doing the same process with this panel. Such a difference. Just wanted to place them side by side so that you could get um, a much better view between the one being warmed up with wax and the original. And when you're applying the wax, some of, of the um, plaster that he uses, it, it will come off and that's perfectly fine. Now this is um, the next item that I am just gonna enjoy so much sharing with you. This was purchased from Hobby Lobby and it is metal ribbon. At least that's what I call it. And I am going to warm it up a bit. So, you know, the metal can stay if, you know, if you like working with, you know, this type of, again, I'm going to call it ribbon, metal ribbon. Um, you know, you can work with this, you know, the way it looks perfectly fine. But again, um, here um, at Bev's home, I like everything to have the warm, um, rich colors. So I'm just going to brush over with this paint from Martha Stewart. It is, oh, I thought I gave a good camera view of it. It is a, a, a gold gilding type of a, a gold liquid paint and it is um oh it's renaissance something so i'm gonna go over the front and then i will be going over the back as well two times So I have it looking just the way I want it. So taking a closer look, you can see certain areas um, have richer tones. Then I have some that are lighter. And we want this because we want it to look like a natural wear. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing what I love to do half the time. 
I'm, I'm sure I don't make too much sense, but. <laughs> so now I'm going to go over with the wax because this is going to add in um, that perfect uh, aging look aged look that I just love so much. So you apply it and then with a tissue, you just dab it off. Placing it on the back as well and just do the same process. Now these, there's many different ones that can be purchased from Hobby Lobby. This is like the medium sized one. Um, they're very inexpensive and I will be using this quite a bit, this ribbon. You don't, well for me, I'm not just going to use, um, you know, uh, you know, ribbons and just wreaths. Um, I will also be placing these in my Christmas trees. Um, you can place these on wood, you know, to give it, you know, a nice texture, you know, uh, uh, some dimension, definitely. You can wrap these around um, a vase uh, or decorative boxes. It's just, there's so much that you can do with this metal ribbon. But today I'm going to share with you how I place it around my wreaths. Now for the last part, I'm going to place on polycrylic because, and this is the clear gloss, because after you add the wax, um, it doesn't give um, a shiny tone. You see, it's pretty matte, um, which is nice as, you know, it. this is a nice look, but I just want to add a little bit of gloss. So it's personal preference, this part for sure. The polycrylic can be purchased um, through Lowe's and I actually believe I have polycrylic at my um, Amazon storefront as well. And I'm just gonna apply one coat and then let it dry. Trying to see if I could show a difference. So I just want to point out, you know, the aged colors in this panel. And then when I add the ribbon next to it, uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm going for that old fairy tale look. Now we are going to um, repurpose. So many of you watched me put this wreath together and now I am going to repurpose it versus going out and buying a whole nother expensive wreath and then figure uh, and then try to figure out, oh my gosh, where you know I'm running out of room in my storage. Um, so I'm going to take a few items out. These leaves up here, I'm going to keep them because it has the yellows in it, like the changing that fall goes through. But these ones right here, I'm going to remove. And I'm going to keep in the ferns. So I'm just going through and removing all of just the solid green. I'm 
Eclipse Fall is all about changing colors. And I'm giving you a side view to share with you all how all of the greenery, um, some of the pieces are coming out from the wreath because that is a great visual. You just don't want a, a flat wreath, you know, that just, at least I don't. <laughs> I like to have um, my floral spray off and away from my arrangements. Now this, this wreath was actually, it's a boxwood wreath, was purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it already comes with, uh, it, it's pre-lit, but it wasn't enough. So as you can see, I added in another strand to make it um, just a little bit more brighter. Now I'm going to add in the ribbon. And again, this was purchased from Hobby Lobby. I like working with re regular ribbons too. Not, you know, not too much, just, a, you know, a little bit here and there. I get during Christmas is when I really like working with the ribbons, but I like, um, I like doing things just a little bit differently. <laughs> I never know how you all are going to take it, but I know I absolutely love it in my home. So I placed it all around the wreath. I haven't even started putting my fall foliage on it yet and it, I'm already loving this. So go grab some from Hobby Lobby. There's many different sizes and I will be working with many of them this year. Um, and you can keep them as is the silver or use my technique and age them. Perfect fairy tale look. Again, it's going in my hallway and it's all about making it fairy tale. This pick, I'm not quite sure where I purchased it from. I know I used it last year, um, so I could have mentioned it. It probably was um, Hobby Lobby. But I'm going to make sure to curve it with, sorry, I hit the microphone. Um, I'm going to make sure to curve it with the wreath and I'm just going to add in a couple and I want to place them on the inside now sometimes I have to use hot glue but I try not to um, just so that it will be easier to to change things out through the seasons always make sure your leaves are turned around and then I will be weaving them through the wreath. I'm going to add one more over on the other side. So again, when you're working with your floral, try to curve it um, with the wreath and in the same direction. My goodness, I have a wonderful fairy tale surprise for you all in store with my hallway and staircase. Now, what does Bev like adding with her, her faux flor, uh, floral? That would be the dried naturals. 
and I'm just going to place one of these down here at the bottom. Fall colors are just so soothing. I'll make sure to weave it into the wreath and through the ribbon as well. It's all about layering. Now I'm just going to place in some more dried naturals. I shared these in a haul. They were purchased from Home Goods. <clears throat> Tucking them in. And always make sure to weave your florals. So by adding in these little pieces, it won't um, look just like a faux boxwood wreath. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Now I'm going to add in some, some wispy eucalyptus. I think I'm going to place some down here on the side. So I'm choosing to let um, some the majority of my floral uh, drape down here on the left hand side. Maybe because I'm a lefty, I'm not <laughs> I'm not too sure why, but I chose the left. So you'll see a tad bit more on the left hand side coming down. And now I'm going to add in just a few faux pumpkins. These were purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's just starting just to say fall all over. Now surrounding the pumpkins, I'm going to add in some more natural dried goodness here. Now, the majority of these items came from my fall wreath that I shared. Did I share those last year? Um, maybe I did not, but I know the very first year I started, um, I did share some fall wreaths and they, they were just too big here at the cottage. So I had to take them apart. So it's all about repurposing, reusing all your goodies. Now it's time for berries. These are purchased, um, were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And when you use these berries with the fall colors, it just, it, well, as you can see, it really just makes everything just pop, just stand out. Again, here I go again, at least I think so. <laughs> now I'm gonna add in a different variety of berries. These were purchased from New River Pottery. And I like to place them on top of the darker berries. It just adds the perfect 
depth. And it lightens things up just a bit. And we cannot forget the moss. So again, when making wreaths, it's all about layering. So I'm just placing in moss all around. And now I'm going to add one more item just to bring um, more life to this wreath, make it stand out just a bit more. And there we have it. Wonderful, wonderful dried oranges. Mm, just smell them. Ah, oranges have a way of making everything look so fresh. So again, two wreaths will be in my hallway with two panels and it will be very fa fairy tale. And I'm going to stay true to the fairy tale when I like when I walk around my home. I'm I'm a big reader. Okay, I love to read. Um I just and my hallway is going to have um quite a bit of books in in it so i thought hmm you know i'm bev can be kind of different that's right i'm placing a book in my wreath to grab whenever i feel like having a little read perfectly fairy tale i will be adding one more item 